everyone, it's Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures. I am alive and partially well. Um, so as I go through this video, I'll give you a couple updates on what's been happening. Um, as it has been a long time coming. So, the title of this video, I think, is While the Cats Are Away, the Mice Will Play. Because, um... Like I've said in my other videos, um, while my husband was in the hospital, I had gotten sick, um, and during that time period, I could not be on video camera much. I tried to keep you guys up to date. Um, I was sick for about two weeks, then I did a video or two, and then um, as I was well for about two weeks, and then I got sick again. So, I was unable to really talk. Um, thankfully, because of the holidays, I already had work off. Um, but yeah, otherwise I probably would have been off work. So today, I went to the doctor. Basically, I saw the doctor for two minutes. She said, because your cough has been around for two weeks, I'm going to give you an antibiotic and some cough syrup. And she sent me on my merry way. So... While you guys were out having fun and I was ill, um, I received several diamond paintings and two of them I started on. Forgive me, I borrowed a hair tie. So two of them I started on without doing a unboxing. And this one, I had gotten for myself during the 1111 sale and I'm not really going to do a pre unboxing review when I do a post review I will do all the unboxings and everything so below in the description I'll put what company I ordered this from because I can't remember right now and I really wanted to get in front of you guys in front of the camera um, so yeah, during the 1111, I wanted a Christmas type diamond painting, and this is what I ordered, and I just thought that was beautiful. I love teals and blues. Um, here are all the beautiful colors. I mean, this came with 30 colors, and all of them are shades of blue. So if you're looking, I mean, think about it, 30 DMC shades of blue um, awesome I think one this one right here is a little bit green but it's like a blue green a very dark blue green um, but yeah this is gorgeous guys super gorgeous and while I was in Ohio I'm from I'm in Michigan while I was in Ohio I started on it so this is how much I have so far this is the bottom isn't that just Ooh, knock your socks off it is round um, and it is a 40 by 50 that's my favorite and I'll give you kind of a peek of what it looks like right here one thing um, is this did have a lot of rivers and a lot of bubbles and so I've been fixing it as I move up um, so that was kind of discouraging that it had that much, um, so to speak. I need to stop saying, um, I'm so sorry. So while you guys were off having fun and being healthy or trying to be healthy or figuring out life, I was unboxing this thing. Look how beautiful that is. And working on it while I was in Ohio so this is about four days worth of me sitting um, at my parents house I do I didn't have any washi tape so I do need to washi tape this down below um, which we can do right now so this is my little collection of washi tape that you guys have seen some of it over the time period now, I have a difficult time because I want, while I'm working on this, I want to enjoy the washi tape experience, you know, because you work on it for quite a bit of time, 
but I also <coughs> have so many colors I love that I like to use for framing and I'll show you in a minute how I used it for framing that I sit here and go oh I don't want to use it if I'm just gonna take it off um, so I like to use washi tape to cover up the extended glue because I was wearing a wet, wet sweater. I was wearing, wearing a red sweater in Ohio and got a bunch of red down here. So while I have you, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this washi tape. So this is the one I'm working on. I also was working on another one, which I'm gonna show you that you guys have not seen an unboxing of because it was a Christmas gift for my niece. And the minute I received it, I needed to open it and start working on it. Um, we were having Robert's Christmas this coming Sunday on December 31st. And it just got moved on our way back from Ohio to December 30th, which gave me one last day to work on it. So I'm glad I jumped on it right away as soon as it came in the mail. And I finished it last night. I stayed up till about 2 o'clock in the morning, not just to finish it, but because I was wide awake because I can't breathe right now. <coughs> um, I cough pretty bad. Right now I'm in a good spot because I haven't been running up and down the stairs. I have my medication in me. You know, there's that sweet spot of cold medication. If you get something that's six hours long, the first 90 minutes you're waiting for it to kick in, then you might have 90 minutes of relief, and then you spend 90 minutes feeling it, the relief dissipate slowly and then quickly, and then you have about 90 minutes of torture waiting for you to be able to take the next dose, right? So right now I'm in my little sweet spot. So hopefully it'll last for a couple videos because I have a bunch of stuff to show you and we'll see how far I get. So that's that one. What I plan on doing is when I finish this, doing a post review and going over my review sheet um, and showing you kind of my first impression right before the post review so that you guys can see what my thoughts were, even though you were not witness to it. I know a bunch of you have questioned where I get my log sheets. Um, I created them based off of several different log sheets, what I loved about each, and I am more than happy to share them with you. So I did create an email address, which will be down below. It's dpaddictionadventures at gmail.com. So feel free to email me if you're interested in the log sheets. Um, I do apologize for those who have asked already for it, as I have been a little bit behind the eight ball with comments. All right. So this next one I have framed. This is the one I was telling you about that I created or made for my niece. Now, when I received it, it was in pretty good condition. These, I will do a post review. Um, these are my leftover drills. Okay, so I had pretty decent amount left over for most of the colors. Okay, and I'll show you the picture in a minute. Um, the drills were pretty, I would say on a scale of 0 to 10, probably an 8 or a 9. I mean, you had your normal convex, concave excuse me and then the main color was 5200 okay so 
this is what they sent me. They sent me two bags. This used to say 5200 on it. Um, this was completely full, and then they sent me a couple bags like this. Now this wasn't even closed, so when I got it, half of this, literally this is how much was in the bag, the other half was in that clear plastic we all get. So I had to put those away, and then silly me, this did not hold all the colors. So the last bit of colors I was using, you'll see in a minute the picture, was mostly white. Um, I was using out of these bags. And then I was propping them up inside the lid as I was using them, you know, across here. However, with my delusional illness right now, I did not think straight and I closed the lid and then it fell and all of these colors mixed together in the bottom of my container. So last night, as I was finishing up the piece, I was splitting the colors and putting them back in the bags before I could even get to using them. So I'm glad that's all said and done. That was my own mistake as far as that was concerned. Um, let's see, I don't think there was much else negative wise. There were three colors that were oily. That was my one negative. So here is the canvas. How beautiful is that? Now this used to have a glass top, but as I was, I'm gonna bring you down, as I was trying to frame it, I broke the glass tonight. Ooh. So, just kinda wanna show you, it's square. Um, the frame did come with the mat and okay back up back the train up doot, doot. so this is a 40 by 40 which translates into a 15 and a half roughly so I'm just gonna round up to 16 by 16 the frames I found um, were either 16 by 20 and then I finally found this at Michael's. It was 18 by 18. And so it had this mat in it. And then I just took my X-Acto knife. And it's not super even, as you can see right here. But I cut. And then what I did is I attached... I'm trying to get better lighting. I attached the actual canvas with this pretty rainbow washi tape and then to help cover up my mistakes on not cutting I added this white and gold dot washi tape as a second around it to give it more of a straight edge my husband's gonna go tomorrow because I do work tomorrow tomorrow's Friday um, He's still on medical leave, but his one leave of the house, he's going to go up the street and get an 18 by 18 inch plexiglass to put in this. <coughs> Excuse me. I did not seal this because I thought it was going to be behind glass. Otherwise, I would have done a sealing video. So I thought this was beautiful. Well, I'm going to put you back up. Do, do, do. Okay, it's okay. So she is really big into unicorns. She's three and a half. And so she's getting her own room now. And I thought this would be really pretty to put in her room. And so that's what I have here. Um, I did say I was going to do a post review, but I'm really not going to do a post review on video. I'll probably just fill out the post review sheet for my own records. I would probably give this in the end a nine and a half out of 10. Um, half a point would be taken off for the oily drills. Um, the other half probably for canvas just because there were a few little bubbles and things in here. Um, as well as it was extremely hard to see some of the symbols when I opened it it looked like the symbols were clear however a lot of the symbols were very light in nature 
so you get this 783 and it's supposed to be a dot with two lines coming out of it but then you have 832 well I'm sorry a triangle with two lines coming out of it like a I don't know and then you have this dot with four lines coming out of it and they were both the same color background you had this 436 that was supposed to be what looks like an arch but on the actual canvas it's like a u-turn with an arrow but on here it doesn't show that so you kind of had to be detective you had this 3688 was a plus sign with a circle around it but then 760 was a dollar or yeah the number sign and so on here the circle kind of looked like another set to make it look like a number sign so that's why I would you know I took off a quarter for the drill oily drills and I took a quarter um, star off of the symbols so it ends up being I said nine and a half out of ten but I do stars so it'd be four and a half out of five is what it would end up being so on my record I'll write that down but I'm not really going to do a post review this is kind of like a mini review to catch you up so that's that as far as that's concerned um, I will now be finishing up and working on this tree I do have a couple more unboxings to show you and work through I have my portfolio I'm going to be showing you and then I'm going to be starting um, a three-part marriage series on you know man and woman not man versus woman but just kind of some things from a therapist perspective and from my husband and I what we've learned and I just thought that was be that would be kind of cool as we do whip in and chats or draw with me's. So that is where I'm at right now. I don't really have much else to show you in this video. Um, so thank you so much. I missed you guys, and I'm so glad that we are back together. So have an amazing afternoon, evening, morning whatever you, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. Um, be blessed and chat with you soon. Take care.